Welcome back to another episode of Nature Aquariums TV, where today we're super excited to talk about some new heaters from Aqua Oil. But before we do that, please remember to like, share, and subscribe for more videos like this, guys. So this is a real short video. It's gonna be a quick unboxing of some new to us, new to the market, US market heaters from Aqua Oil. As everybody knows, I've been talking about these Aqua Oil products. It's a Polish company, they're all made in Europe. These are on designs very similar to what I used to use many, many, many years ago by a company called Hydor. It was an Italian company. They're still around and they used to have inline heaters. I got really excited when I saw these. I don't have a full review as far as putting them into a tank yet, but I kind of wanted to show you, unbox them and talk to you about them. And I will have another video in the future as I hook them up to a tank and to measure their effectiveness. So what's an inline heater? An inline heater is this. It's a heater that you connect to your outflow tubing, whether it's your return sump or whether it's your canister filter. They don't work with hang on the backs. It'll heat the water as it passes through. Now, what's really cool about these from Aqua is they come in two models, a 300 watt and a 500 watt. And they're meant for obviously different size tanks and they're fully electronic. So what are some of their cool features? It's that they have a flow sensor. So if the water shuts off, it'll turn itself off. It's full electronic, no mechanical switches. So you keep tapping the button until the light shows up by the temperature you wanna keep it on. It would also report the temperature of the water as it's going through. If for some reason you set your, say your heater at 74 degrees, but it's a really warm day and your water's running at 78 degrees, it's gonna report to you that it's at 78 degrees. So it does both as a heater and a thermostat. It stays out of the tank. So it leaves you more room for you to aquascape that great, but also it keeps the heaters out of the way of very aggressive cichlids and larger fish that can go and damage the heater. It's for rated for both fresh and salt and it stays out of all that salt creep and it's a really elegant way to heat up your tank without putting anything else into your sump. It comes in two different sizes, which is nice. The 300 and the 500, that should handle the majority of, of tanks out there. If you are running this on say a very large fresh or salt water system with a sump or a wet dry, and you know how you have your pump, usually put it with a Y to split or a T to go to both return nozzles, you could actually mount both of these on watch, uh, one of each of the return nozzles to double your heating capacity. So before we get going, let's open these up so you can see what you get in the box. Now here is the box with the fittings. This is what how the unit looks like. Good, nice extension cord. This is all sealed over here. You get the threaded fittings to which these work on three quarter inch tubing over here. And I'll open these up. They come with O-rings, very nicely done. It shows you which way is top. That's because the sensor for water flow is down here. If for some reason you turn off your pump and this goes dry, the heater will turn itself off. And then you'll just tap until you get the temperature that you want. These are the American models. So they're in Fahrenheit. In Europe, they use the centigrade. This is the back over here. It gives you all the information on here. Let me show you guys what you actually get in the box with fittings. So this is really cool. The way these fittings work is that these O-rings you need to put in right over these grooves over here. And that's what's going to make your nice tight seal. See, when you put in that, what you're going to do is this cap, that's for three quarters, and this is for five eighths inch tubing. So you get both fittings. You just move the O-ring to the fitting that you need. So say we have this one, push it right through like that. And that creates a nice watertight seal. That is for you to put your tubing. That's for three quarter inch. And they give you the five eighths inch ho uh, tubing as well. Now these clips over here, they're dual purpose. So if you're attaching this to the side of your glass tank, you would clip it on like that. 
but if you want to attach this to the inside of your cabinet, then you just put screws right through here and see, and they give you the little screw holes. That's really nice. You get two of these guys, and even though you once you can screw these into your cabinet, you can always, if this is affixed, just pop off the heater like that. And since these are quick disconnects, once you put in your tubing and you put your uh, clamp on there to clean the, the heater, all you do is disconnect, disconnect, and now you can take this to the sink and run your pipe cleaner and clean the inside. I don't know, George, can you grab the inside? There you go, that's how the inside looks. The water is covered 360 degrees. The 500 model is much the same way. These are actually uh, rated the 300 watt up to 160 gallons, the 500 watt up to 265. They're made in Poland, which is really, really nice. It's European. We always like supporting products that are made and have great warranties and support. Aqua Oil's got great distribution based out of Texas. They do have US distribution and they give you phenomenal support. I am gonna follow up with this video in the future with a long-term test. We're gonna mount it to one of our tanks and show you how well it's maintaining. That'll be another quick video. As always, we appreciate all your comments. Use the comment section below, guys. I need content for you guys to tell me what you wanna see so we can do more videos like this. Remember to like, share, and subscribe and have a wonderful, absolutely great day, guys. Happy fish keeping.